everyone, Chivos here, bringing you another Football Manager 2016 video. It's time for another episode of my Pentagon Challenge. I'm going to bring you straight to the schedule screen today. As you can see at the top of the screen, just here, is the last time I saw you. You probably think that is a lot of games. Well, would you believe it? I've still got that many more to go. It is just beyond a joke, I am grinding so hard for this bloody, this bloody Copper Libertadores, but hopefully we can get somewhere. So, since the last time I saw you, we've progressed further in the Brazilian Cup and the First Division. The, our, our season started, well our season started a long time ago. The First Division started, so that's not too bad. And it didn't start off very well, but before that, we went through against Campinense, we beat them 3-1 in the uh, Brazilian Cup second round. But then, Sao Paulo is who we played against on the first day of the regular season of the first division, and we lost 2-1. wasn't the best start, I was worried. Then, we beat Golas 2-1. We beat Flamengo 1-0, that was incredible. We beat Nautico 1-0, and Cruzeiro 1-0. Three 1-0 wins in a row it was quite surprising, but it did a job for us. But then we did have a rough patch of form. We then lost 3-0 to Vittoria. Ronaldo was sent off in the fourth minute. So he played with 10 men for the whole game. We then played against Santos, who we drew with one all. You know, it's good that we picked up a draw against Santos, but uh, I probably would have preferred better. We then played against Internacional, who beat us 4-2. Now, the funny thing is, we took the lead. We were 1-0 up, then they were 2-1, then it was 2-2. Then they just took it away in the second half. We could not do it. Then we played against Fortaleza. We beat them 3-1. Fantastic there. Then a nil-all draw against Portuguesa. Unfortunate. A 2 0 loss to Atletico Mineiro, which is something I can't be disappointed about because they are a very strong side. But since that result, we haven't lost a game, which is fantastic. We beat Sport. What a st it's just Sport. We beat them 2-0 in the first division. We then beat Grani 4-1, Leo Jarba scoring a hat-trick there. We drew nil all with Fluminense, which is not bad. And then we drew 4 all with Corinthians. Now, this was a huge result. They scored in the second. They scored in the tw in the seventh. And they scored in the 27th. It was 3-0. And I decided, well, we're not getting anything. We're going to go counter. We are going to go counter. And you know what? We did go counter. And we got one back. And we got a second back, and I was like, oh, we've turned things around. But then they managed to get a a penalty, and I thought it was game, set, match. Leo Jarba comes up and scores the third. And then Victor Marquez scores his hat-trick and the fourth goal for us, and it leveled the score for all draw. What a comeback there from the boys against probably the strong side in the division. We then played against Tupi in the Brazilian Cup third round. Beat them in the first leg 1-0. We then played against Atletico Paranaense, beat them 2-0. They are scoring in the 90th minute there. We then beat Tupi 4-1 on the home leg of the Brazilian Cup third round before our most recent game, which was against Vasco da Gama, when we beat them 1-0. Now, the next game we play is against Botafogo, who have really been struggling. You know, I thought they were quite a decent team in, uh, in Brazil, but apparently I was wrong. You know, they're currently sitting in 20th position, it's not looking good for them. But where do we sit? That's the next question. In third. That's right, we're in third. You know, although we have had four losses this season, we've had four draws, we're still up there. Although uh, Atletico Paranense have played a game more than us, so have Sao Paulo, Internacional are uh, on the same games play as us. So a loss could see us drop to, uh, to fourth at the moment, but then things could also change. But the point is, Corinthians topped the table 35 points. Only four points off Corinthians. You know, I can't believe it. Four points. That is a very small margin. Then on the other hand, we have Flamengo, who are in th uh, on 33 points. But as you can see, our league positions, there was a point where we were up second. And then we dropped to ninth. Now we're back up there. We're in third. So we are in third. We're doing quite well. A goal difference of seven. It's not fantastic, but it's not terrible. So things are doing well. And as you can see, the Brazilian Cup, we're in the fourth round. And we have drawn Atletico Paranense, who are currently in fourth in the first division. So it's a tough draw, but I'm sure we can get through. Now, squad-wise, what's been happening? We still have quite a decent squad. No one's really moved, which is fantastic. But key performance so far this season. 
Leo Jarba, 15 goals. Dow, 15 goals. Gino Anton, 15 goals. Now, the reason he's not playing is Fernando's in form. But I'll tell you what, we're going to swap that around. We'll give Gino Anton a run purely on the 15 goals. Do we have any resis here? No, not really. You know, there's a few of us in and around the squad, but, you know, we're, uh, we're playing here. Now, Fabricio, this is one guy I want to talk to you about. We have two Fabricios, which is a bit annoying, and the only difference is the eyes. One of the eyes has got, like, a funny tick on it, and the other one's just got a normal tick on it. So, Fabricio with the funny tick as uh, a very, very good player. He's two-and-a-half-star current ability, 18 years old, four-and-a-half-star potential. This guy could be a world beater. And the problem is, PSG keep coming in and keep coming in and keep coming in, but he's not going. I'm telling you now, he's not going. I love him. He's fantastic. So, getting him in involved with the uh, the first team. So, let's see how we go today. We're playing the 4-2-3-1. Um, it's a bit of a different variation to what I normally play. Obviously, we do love the 4-2-3-1, but obviously, the two defensive midfielders does work in this, in this division. I don't know why. It's a very defensive division. But things have been working, and that's the main thing. Now, the question is, can we get a result against bottom of the table, Botafogo? Now, it's no... Uh, I, I didn't purposely choose this game. I just thought, well, it's such a long season. We'll try to get to the halfway mark, and we're about there. And I could have brought you a game against Bahia. But if you guys remember, that was the first game I ever played as Palmeiras manager. So I thought, we'll change things up. Botafogo can be the game, and then if things develop later on this season... I could bring you some more crucial games. But at the moment, this seems like the right place to join you. We're in good form. You know, we're, we're high on the table, which is what we need. The question is that we need to keep it up, though. Can we? Can we? Here's Andre Luis. He's uh, lost the ball out already. If we concede here to Botafogo, I will be worried because they are bottom of the table. Andre Luis, great tackle. Here's Mateus Dow on the ball now. Can he hold up? He doesn't have to. He breaks. He finds Leo Jarba on the left-hand side. What does he do? Can he find back post? He can. Not. And the ball's still gone in. Dow. It's a kick on. Kick on. Kiss on. Own goal. But, uh, more than happy. More than, I'm telling you now, more than, here's Leo Jarba on the ball. He's put it in. Dow shot at the keeper. The keeper saved it onto the player and it's rolled over the keeper. In the keeper. I know, but it's in the goal. It's in the goal, and that's all that matters. We've got a one nil lead against Botafogo. They haven't even had a shot yet. Here's Romulo on the ball. Here's Anton. Here's Tiaguino. Mateus. Anton again on the ball here. What's he going to do? Right-hand side. He finds Mateus, the young star, playing very well. Actually keeping Neto out of his spot, which is incredible. Here's Tiaguino on the ball. Here is Leo Jarba. Can he beat the man? He can, but the shot is blocked. Now, we've blocked their, their part. It's it's end-to-end. -end. Leo Jarba can't get there. Here's Anton. He does eventually lose out, but he picks it back up. He's ball in. It's cleared. It's just ping-pong right now. The ball's bloody everywhere. Here's Tiaguino. Surely it's going to go out. There you go. It's out, but that was some back-and-forth action. There's a bloody... There's a, there's a moth. Go away. I'm doing something. Don't like them. They're really frustrating. Here's Gilberto. Romulo on the ball now. Plays back to Max. Max getting himself back in the first team again. You know, he was a bit inconsistent. That's one thing I don't like about Max. He is quite inconsistent. But if you rotate him, then it works. And that's the main thing. It works. Here's Leo Jarba. No. Just no. That was that was disappointing. That, that wasn't Leo Jarba. That wasn't the man who's uh, been playing quite well. That was terrible. But here we go. Another highlight. They're flooding in at the moment. Here's Tiaguinho. Here's Gilberto on the ball. Ball in. Dow hits the crossbar. Why can't we do it? Why can't we do it? But it's still 1-0. We're dominating the game. We've kept them to two shots. Uh, their pass completion is terrible. And their head is one is just as bad is about the same, but oh, it's just I don't know why we're not winning by more. To be honest, we're very lucky with the goal too. So we're gonna have to go into half time. Tell the boys, look, I'm happy, but we need we, we need to keep it up. We have to keep it up because it's not good enough. I'm telling you, it's not good enough. I got stuff everywhere, but here we go, Wesley. Oh no. Just skip the highlight. We'll go to the next one. Here's Andre Luiz. Here's Romulo on the ball now. Here's Dow. Very lucky again. How it's ended up at him. I have no idea. Dow 
finding some strokes of luck at the moment, which is fantastic for us, but uh, it'd be better if he, uh, he had more skill than luck. He's Leo Jaba. Max. Unfortunately, couldn't get there. But it doesn't matter if he couldn't get there. We still have a ball in. Jaba on the corner. Arthur does make the save, though. So quite unfortunate. But 24 shots. I can't complain about that. And I thought we were going to have a highlight. We're not. We're 55 minutes in. Maybe we should rotate. I think we should. Who are we going to bring on? Well, I promised Daniel Antonio a bit of game time. He can come on for Jaba. And uh, Max, you've been playing quite well. I'll, g I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Fabricio, I want to keep him playing, though, you see. So, Max, you're going to have to come off. And we'll bring on Casio. Why not? We've got six centre-backs. I think it's six centre-backs at the club right now. So, maybe we should start to rotate the centre-backs because it's a struggle. But the problem is you don't want to rotate them too much because if you rotate them too much, the ones in form aren't going to play. They're going to get angry. They're going to want to leave. And you need the ones in form because if they're not in form, then they're not going to play well. And it's only 1-0. How is it only 1-0? Now, it looks like if if the score was the other way around, we would have been FM'd, but we haven't been. Problem is, Dow not finding the back of the net, so we're going to change him for Fernando, because we do love a bit of Fernando, don't we? And bringing back some old memories with Fernando, he just comes up at the right times. Can he come up today? Probably not. Now, he's in the striker position. Normally, he's deployed at right wing, but give him the striker position today. It hasn't worked out for him, and it looks like we're just going to come away with a 1-0 win. And now, I'm not too worried about a 1-0 win. You look at Leicester in real life, uh, potentially going to be champions at this point in time. I think six games left to go. The point is, although they're not smashing anymore or not having to come back, they've had a lot of 1-0 wins, and champions always find ways to win. Whether they scrape through 1-0s or smash 5-0s, it doesn't matter because they do scrape through. And guess what? We've picked up three points. I'm very happy. Where does that leave us? We go up to second. We overtake Flamengo. They do still have a game in hand. So do Corinthians. But we do go up to second, which is incredible. Obviously, I think it's top four. I keep talking about it. I keep forgetting. We're going to go back to the rules just quickly. It's top four. And the, the Brazil Cup. It is. Four teams qualify. One team for preliminary round, depending on the winner of Brazilian Cup. So, if we finish top three, that's what I want. And at the moment, we're on par for it. Corinthians have played 18 games. Flamengo have played 18 games. So, there you go. We dropped to third now. So, obviously, their games have been played. But, uh, two points off Corinthians. And, does that mean that... Wait, wait. Does that mean that... I, it hasn't come up on my results screen, has it? It'd be nice if they showed me the results screen. So we're going to have to go like this. Um, uh, how do I check the fixtures? Yeah, fixtures. Okay, we're going to go back a day. That's when we last played. So we beat Botafogo 1-0. Very lucky. Uh, Flamengo drew 1-0. And Corinthians drew 0-0. So both results went our way. And now it seems as though we are in the title hunt. I know it's still only early days. We've all gone halfway through our season now, approximately. We've still got a game extra or whatever. But the point is, we are on par for a top three finish. Whether we finish on 68 points, whether we go higher, whether we go lower, I don't know. But the point is, we are looking towards a top three finish, which would guarantee Coppa Libertadores football. And that is what I am here for. So that's what we're going to look at. Next time I join you, will be later on the season. If the Brazilian Cup gets better then we might have to go for that. But otherwise, later in the season, when is our next big game? Do we play against uh, against Corinthians? We do. Maybe we could bring in the Corinthians game later on in the season unless things change before that. We do have Flamengo, but I think that's a bit too close. So maybe Corinthians could be the way to go. You know, they are the powerhouse in Brazil. So maybe that's what we have to look at doing. But if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to see more of my Pentagon Challenge. And hopefully I catch you guys on another video.